hi guys in this quick tutorial i'll show you how we can create this type of multicolor awesome looking border and some awesome multicolor shadow with elementor and elementor by default doesn't have this type of options so we will use some advanced css so this tutorial will be a little bit boring i think you will learn something new from this so let's get started so this is a blank page so let's insert our columns so i will use three columns you can use as many column you want so in my case that will be three so let's add some padding on top of our section so that it looks a little nicer so now let's add our content in my case that will be heading maybe some text and maybe button i'm gonna duplicate this two times and remove this blank one so we have three three column with content so let's add some padding and margin so that we can keep a little bit of room between each of our column so let's add uh, maybe 20 pixel padding or 20 pixel margin and i'm gonna copy and paste this style for each of our column okay perfect we need to provide a common class for all of our columns so for this one let's call it box you can put name it whatever you want so this will be box box and box perfect okay so in our custom css let's insert our box class but we need to target the wrapper div elementor wraps every column with a common div called elementor this one elementor column wrap so we need to target that elementor column wrap and let's insert in here but before elementor column wrap we need to insert this little arrow symbol arrow type symbol to target this just the children element of this one as you can see you can find it in here it will target elements which are direct children of particular element so that means we only want to target the elementor column wrap that is just under the box so that's fine so now let's add after before so we need to add before sudo for our elementor column wrap and let's write some css so first of all it will be content and our content will be blank so if you don't insert this content the before sudo will not work so give it like this and now we need to set a position and our position will be absolute and we want to give the top minus 5 pixel same for bottom left and right so these 5 pixel is the width of our border so this one this is 5 pixel so you can give it whatever you want so i'm just copying it four times so this will be right bottom and Left. okay so uh, position absolute top right bottom left everything will be negative 5 pixel perfect so we can give a background color background will be white and lastly we have to provide a z index negative 1 to our before so z index negative 1 okay so now our before sudo is done let's duplicate it and make it after after okay so box elementor column wrap after so we need to change this g index to negative 2 so that it sits just under the before so that g index will be negative 2 and we need to provide a blur effect as you can see in our shadow it's nice and blurry so we need to provide the blur effect in here so we will use css filter so filter filter will be blur and we will give it a 40 pixel blur okay so let's set this and see anything happens as you can see absolutely nothing happens so that is fine so now we need to provide the our main gradient background gradient color in here so that's perfect so let's 
copy this before again and we can insert after in the same one so just that before put a comma and insert this after that will be easier for us so now we need to need to add a follow back background color so if browser doesn't support it this background color will be shown let's say i'm just giving this color to maybe this color you can insert here any color you want as you can see this is our background color and this is how it looks so but we want this type of gradient so let's add our gradient so in here let's type background and the background will be linear gradient so linear linear gradient for the gradient let's add the first bracket this is how you define linear gradient for our case it will be 235 degrees so 235 degree and comma and we need to insert our color value in here we need to insert in rgba value you can insert in rgb value as well but i will insert rgba so this is our color value and we need to set this location so that will be zero percent so in zero percent this will be the color and the angle will be 235 degree let's put the comma in here and put another color in here so in my case that will be this one and let's define our angle in here you can let's make it 50 percent put a comma and we'll put the another color for 100 percent another color for 100 percent and let's close our this opening parenthesis in here so let's close this bracket in here okay so let's save and re refresh if anything changes in here as you can see there is a nice looking gradient is now showing so but our background in this case our background was white so let's edit our column and give it a white background color so this will be white this will be white this will be white so let's refresh as you can see we have achieved the gradient and the shadow so but if you want different color for different column you can also do so so we just need to duplicate this and in here we need to add the nth child value so this will be first child this will be second child this will be third child so we will use css nth child so nth child and just put it one so this means the first child the first box so let's copy this nth child put it in here also so first box nth child the elementary column wrap before first box elementary column wrap after so let's change this color in here i also have some color in here i'm just copying and pasting in here let's save this as you can see our first box color is now changed same goes for this second and third so let's keep this second one as it is let's change this third one so just duplicate this whole thing and in here instead of one let's make it three so that will be third one this will be three and change the color value from him here so let's copy this perfect and also don't forget to change the background fallback background color as well let's save this let's refresh as you can see our color is not changed so this is how we can create this type of awesome looking gradient and shadow so if you have any tutorial request you can comment in under the video so i'll see you in the next video